Okay, so second YouTube video I've ever done. If you're subscribed to my channel, thank you. I'm a regular everyday girl. Makeup is not really my thing. I sell $5 jewelry. Um, yes, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my curly headed, weird headed, whatever, crazy hair out of the way. So we're gonna pull this back. So we have a clean face. I just got out of the shower this morning, clean, dry face, obviously clean and dry is um, super duper important when you are dealing with makeup, right? Just go along with me um, as I adjust. All right, so these came in the mail yesterday. Um, I bought the Luminous Serum Foundation from Phar Pharmacy, Pharmacy, whatever. I don't know. But it's supposed to give you like a dewy look. Mine is in the shade 03 because I'm a pale pasty um, girl. If you like beauty blenders that's great there's like 40 different style of beauty blenders you can choose from quite literally these are some that i have this one i think drugstore this one's sephora this one's i don't know whatever um i do not like a beauty blender for applying foundation but since this is a different type of foundation i might my preferred method of applying foundation is with a flat brush this is from sephora i think i don't know it's got the this brush on the other end and then the flat brush this is my preferred method this is liquid just so you know you open it it's got the um dropper and it comes out and it's like you just drop drop i don't know how many drops i need i don't know if you want to put that directly on your face and then rub it in or whatever this is my first time ever using it so we're going to check out how it's going to go. Um, I'm going to try by applying it across my face first. And then I will rub that in. I know. It's like war paint, right? Oh, look, I'm spilling it. Uh, super graceful here. I probably put on way too much. Whatever is what it is it's not running so that's good and then i got like a mirror here that i'm using because i can't i like to start on my forehead just because that's um i don't know it's a good round well-rounded spot to start right and um if you're curious about my eyebrows i did not do my eyebrows before i started this they're microbladed because i'm lazy I've done lash extensions, all kinds of beauty things to save me time. So this looks super um, yellow for my face. I got the lightest color they had, FYI. But um, it still seems to be too dark. But we'll see. The coverage is freaking killer. Look at this. All right, so far, I'm, I'm digging it so far. good I'm trying to do this by looking in the mirror or I'm sorry looking in the camera but I am sincerely no expert I'm peeking over as my husband pops in and checks me out so I need the mirror and I'm just gonna buff this out on my face until I like the way that it looks and it's dry because remember it was liquid and I'm not just doing half a face I'm doing my full face because I'm gonna go take some jewelry pictures after this and post those to my business page so you guys are gonna get what do they say glam with me whatever at least I have a backdrop this time and you can't see my messy bedroom if you guys missed the first video, go check that out. It was hilarious. Okay. Um, I use an eye primer. I did not order the pharmacy, pharmacy eye primer. Um, 
I have very oily lids. I'm a huge fan of the Laura Mercier. I use the shade um, Linen. I find that this is best fitting for my particular um, oiliness and it keeps my lids dry all day. My makeup doesn't ever move a muscle. So um, maybe one day I will try the pharmacy, but I really, really love. So if you have oily lids, Laura Mercier is the best. I've tried Too Faced or yeah, it did not work. I think it was Too Faced or Better Than Sex or something. I don't know, but it did not work near as well. I also like the shade Linen because it is a very white and bright, so um, the pigments really show their like true colors. That is my work phone. I'm gonna let it ring. Hey Chris, do you think you could see who's calling me? We'll see, all right, so we're gonna let this dry, okay, because we're letting it dry. Oh, I guess they realized that I'm not answering. So I bought cream eyeshadow from pharmacy. This is in the shade orange pop. It almost looks copper. Oh, I guess you can't read that. It says orange pop though. Um, it looked like a super cute shade. So you can apply this with your fingers if you'd like, or you can use, I actually have, a cream shadow brush in here if I can pull it out and find it that I like to use to apply my cream shadows Where's my no. you'd think I would have got it out to begin with but I did not so shoot me later it's from Sephora. It's in here somewhere. I know I've got it. I didn't throw it out. This is my dome shadow increase. I don't know where it is, but oh. Here. No, this is my I don't know where it is because I'm a normal person and um, life is um, sometimes a mess for me. I've got so many different things in here though, y'all. Like, it's insane. Yeah, I've got like brushes galore. And I can't pull it all the way out, but... So anyway, whatever. Use a brush if you want. Don't if you don't. It's fine. Um, I'm actually going to use a precision sh No. I am going to pull out... I want precision... I'm going to use this precision brush. This is from Sephora. It's out of some collection. It's a shadow brush. It's not for cream shadows, but you can see it's pretty freaking dense. So I'm going to put that on just my lid. Okay. And I'm going to tap because apparently that's what, you know, makeup people recommend is that you tap it on. And then I'm just going to go over and again I only want it on my lid the lid part goes up to the crease the crease is where that crescent like half moon is pretty much anything that covers your eyeball when your eye is closed is your lid so what do we think that's actually really pigmented I love this shade I'm going for a super fall look when I take my pictures outside on this rainy gloomy day here in New Jersey so um, the cream shadows are a definite yes from me this 
is so nice. Um, I dare say that I've used um, some other cream shadows, like the, I think, Revlon or L'Oreal. I've also used Unique. I like Unique cream shadows, but I'm going to tell you right now, I think that this one's better than the Unique cream shadow. I'm going to build just a little bit more color. Be careful doing that, though, because you don't want it to get too thick, thick and crack. You want to make sure that it's very evenly spread. So there's my cream shadow. Not too shabby, eh? Yes, I'm digging that. I like. And you see, I, I picked this orange color because my eyes are blue and I feel like it would really make them stand out and pop. So that is beautiful. Uh, I'm not done with shadow. I'm actually going to use some unique powder shadows to go in after this. Um... I'm going to be using Gingerly and Gingerly, don't you? Gingerly and Witty. No, I think I'm going to use Gingerly and Gullible. So I don't know if they still have these shades, but, um, these two shades here. So this is gingerly and that is gullible. I'm going to use gullible on the outside to darken it up. So for my lid, I'm actually going to grab a unique blending brush. This is my favorite blending brush of all time. It works beautifully and perfectly, actually better than my Sephora brushes, in my opinion. Um, if you don't have a color swatch, get one. You can take this out and wash it. It really just um, like dry cleans your brush really well so you can switch between colors and not have to use multiple brushes. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get some of this gingerly because this is going to be like my transition color. And, you know, do that thing where you knock off the excess. Now this is where I'm going to go in with the sweeping motion. On the top part of my crease and the top up to my brow. So I'm going to really go in here. This is going to be like a transition color. And as you can see, it's pretty subtle. You can build on this if you want. Keeping your eye open while you do this is really going to give you the best effect to keep it off of your lid. Now, I have a scar here on my eyebrow, so I lift my lid up just a little whenever I am putting on shadows to keep it where I want it to be. Otherwise, I'm going to swipe it all over that lid on top of that cream shadow where I don't want it. If you have hooded eyes or you have um, some saggy skin, you can also do this. You just want to lift up at the brow not do not pull to the side that is a no 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 you want to lift up always lift up i'm going to add just a tad a bit of color on this one and remember lift up and keep your eye open so there we've got the transition color great right okay so i'm going to keep the same brush and i'm just going to swatch off the color Next, I'm going to go in with the Gullible, which is the dark brown, and I'm going to pat on the outer corner of my eye, and I'm just going to swipe halfway over my eye and blend it in to the outer edge. This is going to give me the definition that I want to make my eye a little bit bigger. Pat, 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 pat. And I don't know why, but doing that face seems to make everything better when you're putting on makeup. Don't know why. So you see there's a slight definition between the two different eyes. I don't want something that's going to be really big in color. I want subtle. So I'm going in with a little bit 
and I'm building as I go because less is more girls, less is more. And I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit and sweep it over. So there we go, just a little bit of definition and color, which is exactly what I want. And I'm gonna dry clean my brush for next time. Um, by the way, clean brushes are crucial. If you're not cleaning your brushes, start doing that ASAP. Now you can highlight up at the top if you'd like. I'm actually not going to do that for this particular look, but I am going to brush and smooth my brows. Again, I have no product on my brows because they are microbladed and shaded with ombre tattooing. Saves me a ton of work because drawing brows is, um, well, if you're doing it, I'm sorry. Just get them tattooed. So um, now the other pharmacy product that I bought was this um, face palette thing with the blush and the bronzer and the highlighter. So I'm gonna try this, um, which is a little bit different than the products that I used on my last video. So let's see what we can do. I got highlighter. Okay, I'm not using the right brushes and guess what? I don't really give a crap. Use whatever works for you, okay? That's what I'm telling you, use whatever works for you. I'm gonna use an angle brush for my blush. So I don't know, this blush looks okay. My other shade I like better. So I'm gonna go in, knock off the excess. Blush is supposed to go between your highlighter and bronzer or whatever. Um, it's supposed to go on your actual cheekbone. And um, I'm gonna go in, I got a little too high. It's fine, it's whatever. So. The shade is actually really nice, and I'm a pale, pasty girl. I think this might look good on everybody. By the way, Pharmacy's got a really um, funky smell to all of their powder products. Um, it kind of smells like my grandmother's makeup room when I was little. So, I don't know. Do we like? I like. Gives a little rosy part to my cheeks. I'm down. Next, I'm going to do with the bronzer. I was probably supposed to do this first, but I don't really care. So this goes in the hollow part of your faces. Depending on your face shape, you're gonna apply this in different spots. I have an oval shaped face. So my I'm actually gonna put it here, here, and here, which is where the sun would naturally hit me. You can make a fish face if you don't know where the sunken in parts are. And you wanna go there. Blend, blend, blend. Can't even tell you. If you don't blend, it's not going to look good. You're not going to be happy. You see, I'm just like blending the crap out of my face. So that's good. I have like one of these big, like bronzing brushes from Sephora. I don't like it. I actually use a very dense <laughs> blush brush. I just like the way it looks better when I use this brush than when I use the other. I've tried it. And then whenever I go in and do my contour, I actually use, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but when I do my nose, I use this brush. I like it best. And I think I got this from Walgreens and a set of organic brushes. I'm not really sure. I'm left-handed retarded, so I can't use my left hand for anything. So 
Is this supposed to make your nose look skinnier? Whatever. I don't know if it does or doesn't, but we're doing it. And then highlighter. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at that. That's like Kardashian. Ooh, baby. Okay. So I recommend purchasing this palette from Permacy. Yes. I recommend it. Because ooh, girl. Now remember, it's going to be different, your highlighter, based on your face shape, wherever you contour. But blend, 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 blend. Especially if you're like me and have like wrinkles and stuff. So I'm digging this. I'm down. I'm definitely a fan of that palette right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what else pharmacy? Oh. I didn't put on concealer. I don't think I need concealer today. I got a different shade of concealer, but if you want to see that, it is in my last video. The other thing that I got was the Star Look Mascara. Don't buy the Pharmacy 3D Mascara. Throw, don't, just don't. It's it's not, if you want 3D Mascara, go with Unique. It is definitely by far the best 3D Mascara on the market. I think they actually have 40 now. But I wanted to try the Star Look Mascara to see what it was about, so I got some. Um, curl your lashes. All you got to do is buy one of these and hold it on for like 10 seconds. Do not, do not heat it up. Do not heat it up. There's no need. You just need to hold it on for like 10 seconds. Each eye. I look ridiculous, don't I? Okay. So before I do my mascara, I'm actually going to set my makeup. Flat Kabuki brush. That is what I use. I have not tried the pharmacy pressed powder. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I actually really love the Becca. Um, it's the uh, Hydra Mist. I love this shit. Sorry about the language. Again, real person. So it goes on cool and then it dries. It gives a flawless photo finish every time. I freaking love it. It's it's a little pricey. It's at Sephora. Maybe Ulta carries it too. I don't know, but the shit is like the bomb. And I, you can use a beauty blender if you want to do a technique called baking. I do not, but I do put this and dab it all over my face to set my makeup. And then I will, um, like buff it out but first you got to get it on and it's cute because it's in like this is like a little net yes okay so now I will just buff it out And it pulls everything in together. So, see? Powder, it like mats everything down. I love that stuff. Pharmacy seems to make a pretty good pressed powder, but whatever. So now I'm going to go in with the mascara. Let's see what this does. All right, so there's the brush. It's like tapered. And by the way, trick, do not like... Um, wipe your mascara off or like pump it because the more air you put in the more dry it's gonna get now if you can't see me it's because I really need a magnifying mirror to do mascara like sincerely um so Ooh. 
So I like the tapered end. Because it really helps me to get those fine little tiny hairs towards the corner of my eye. And the little hairs at the bottom without uh, getting mascara on my skin. All right, so I approve of this mascara. It is nice. Yeah, check it out. Pretty good stuff. All right. I got some lip stuff too. Ooh, where did I stick that? All right, so their matte liquid lipstick. I bought this in um, the shade Goddess, by the way. Um, there's the tip. It comes, makes it easy to put on, looks like. Tip and trick, if you put this on with chapped lips, it's going to look like garbage exfoliate your lips and you know that thing that used to teach you to go don't do that either just don't just don't so overall I think that I'm pretty happy with the products. I think that they're pretty great and awesome. My hair's like all still wet and like big and frizzy and curly and listen, I just do big things. <laughs> all right, so crazy hair. Um, yes, on the Luminous Serum Foundation, color matching can be hard. Um, the concealer I did not use the cream shadow definitely stock up on that for real for real the face palette the three-in-one face palette get this remember it has the um, the bronze the contour the highlight and the um, blush it's actually a really nice for all the shades um, oh that's dry Look at the matte lipstick. It is definitely matte. My lips are not sticky and it's dry. Um, we're going to see how long it lasts today. I'll have to post a follow-up in the comments or something for you guys so you can see. Um, so I definitely recommend that. And the Starlook Mascara, it's the, it's the brush. Like everything's in the brush. And... Um, I say yes, it's a definite yes. I'm just gonna fine tune and tweak some of this stuff. Brush the makeup out of my brows. If your brows are microbladed and your um, artist says that it's safe, you can actually put like a clear um, gel type thing to hold the hairs in place over it if you want. I'm actually just going to touch it up with a little bit of grapeseed oil and um, moisturize them and it will bring out the color. You can put additional makeup over them if you want, um, but always consult with your particular artist. Um, so yeah, I think, I'll turn off my extra lighting. It definitely in this light looks very yellowed, but I have a yellow light on. So if I change the mode to a more bright light or blue light, you can see how the makeup changes. So this would be like day to night. This is a combination of the two. And this is more close to like what natural light would be. And as you can see, it does give me a really dewy finish. I think that I like it. So I'm going to go finish this off with um, a cute set of jewelry. And then I'm going to go out and take some photos. Thank you for watching.